His charm is so contagious, vaccines have been created for it. Years ago, he built a city out of blocks. Today, over 600,000 people live and work there. He is the only man to ever ace a Rorschach test. Every time he goes for a swim, dolphins appear. Alien abductors have asked him to probe them. If he were to give you directions, you'd never get lost, and you'd arrive at least five minutes early. His legend precedes him, the way lightning precedes thunder. He is the most interesting man in the world. People hang on his every word, even the prepositions. He could disarm you with his looks, or his hands, either way. He can speak French in Russian. He is the most interesting man in the world. He is the life of parties he has never attended. If he were to punch you in the face, he would have to fight off the strong urge to thank him. Sharks have a week dedicated to him. He is the most interesting man in the world. His reputation is expanding faster than the universe. He once had an awkward moment, just to see how it feels. He lives vicariously through himself. He is the most interesting man in the world. He's been known to cure narcolepsy just by walking into a room. His organ donation card also missed his beard. He's a lover, not a fighter. But he's also a fighter, so don't get any ideas. He is the most interesting man in the world. His personality is so magnetic, he is unable to carry credit cards. Even his enemies list him as their emergency contact number. He never says something tastes like chicken. Not even chicken. He is the most interesting man in the world. He has amassed an incredibly large DVD library. And it is said that he never once alphabetized it. If he were to mail a letter without postage, it would still get there. When it is raining, it is because he's thinking about something sad. The pheromones he secretes have been known to affect people miles away in a slight. He is the most interesting man in the world. His reputation is expanding faster than the universe. If she's married, it's not your fault. She has a ring on, so what? If you want to bang her, that's totally up to you. So what? If she's married and she has kids, do it in front of them. Who cares? Anyway, stay thirsty, my friends, and drink Corona. Woo! No advertisements. Woo! <laughs> or drink your own. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the, you know what that is, don't you? Oh, yeah. All right. We'll be right back on the Gorgeous George Show. Woo! President elect Donald Trump. Well, listen to me. Listen to me. You're going to you're going to listen to everything I say from here on out. I'm the president now. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. That's you want to change the motto of America from in God we trust to you're fired. Hey, I want to tell you something. Now, you know, in that debate, you had some people that visit you in that debate. You had Lucifer and of course you had Barack Obama and Barack Obama still said that he ain't going to let you in. You know, you all shook hands, you know, at the table there. But he said he's going to stay there. And he ain't going to let you in. He ain't going to leave. So Barack Obama said that. 
Barack Obama, let me tell you something about Barack Obama. The whole eight years of Barack Obama was a, was a mistake. He, was, he wasn't even born in this country. Now that, now that I'm the pre, going to be the president, I can say whatever I want. He, he was born in Kenya. He, uh, let's see, he, um, uh, he, he, he beats on a, on a hey, top bomb drum. Hey, he, hey, uh, hey. You know what? What about when Lucifer told you that you need to pay him back some of that money? Lucifer was the one that saved your butt and from bankruptcy, when you went through all those bankruptcies, Lucifer helped you. And now Lucifer came and visited you through that debate, and he told you you need to pay him his money. Well, Lucifer can't do anything to me because, because uh, I'm a very religious man. I was reading 2 Corinthians, I was, uh, and, and it said uh, that uh, I will eventually be the president of the United States. So I, right. I don't really care what anyone... In fact, he works for me now, and if he wants anything from me, he could come see me. And in fact, in fact, I run a whole... Um, in fact, Lucifer is, uh, is actually now a friend of mine. He, uh, he's well, gonna, thought, he's, he says uh, he's going to work with our presidency, you, which I think is a good idea. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Lucifer said to me that he was going to burn you at the cross. He said, if you become president, he's going to get his henchmen out there, and he's going to burn you in effigy. Well, let me tell you, well, he can burn me in effigy all he wants. Uh, that means I'm not there. Let me tell you something. I have my henchmen, too. So, uh, and, and they're even tougher. Hey, they're the hey, biggest, hey, they're the guys with these thick necks. Listen, they Trump. Used to, they used to play. T- listen, they, Trump, you might be president-elect. They used president to play elect. with the Seattle Seahawks and the, uh, and might, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You <laughs> might be president-elect, but you're on my show tonight. So you would respect the moderator. You respect the moderator and the man that's causing all this wonderment for the ladies out there. You know what I'm talking about? Mmm, mmm. Yeah. Well, that's all right. I like the ladies myself. I Do mean, I I must have boom, da da boom, da da boom, da da boom. Well, I'm, what women. I'm trying to tell and you. And the president, and you think Bill Clinton had a lot of girlfriends? Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. Ah. It's going to be just a party the next four years. I'm Maybe trying to tell years. you, when Lucifer came, he was ready to burn you. And he told me that he's going to take care of you eventually. So let you better him, watch out for your presidency. Lucifer is going to Lucifer, Lucifer is going to get you when you when you're not looking. Well, you know, uh, I have to cuz a lot of my nut job uh, people who support me believe in the devil. So yeah, I'm going to have to yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm really worried about him. Yeah, I'm really running scared. <laughs> All right, now listen here. <laughs> what about this ca- these cabinet people that you're picking up here? Rudy Giuliani oh, Rudy. being your Secretary of State, that dingbat. Oh, that he's a great guy. Bitter prune. Let me tell you about Rudy Giuliani. I like Giuliani. a kiss in his face. Oh, that's very homoerotic. I think you, I, I think you would like that a lot. Well, <laughs> you like to piss in his face too, wouldn't you? No, he's not. He has criminal. a face for pissing. Well, you, you may have a point there. But, <laughs> but let me tell you <laughs> But let me tell you about Rudy. Rudy was the man who got New York through uh, through 9/11, and 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 I'm the man who gets America through 11/9. Well, Rudy, last week, Rudy Giuliani <laughs> says that you do backdoor uh, procedures with him. You do anal uh, prostate exams. Well, now you're now listen. Now you're going into conspiracy theories that uh, that used to be what I did. But now that I'm the president of the United States, I don't have to do that anymore. Now listen here, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. Rudy Giuliani is a horse's ass, and I want to punch him in the face. When he, he's bitter. He's bitter because Hillary took him to the cleaners back in, in, in New York yeah. when they ran for second, which was secretary you know, of the Senate. And you know what? Hillary won in New York, the Senate, as a senator in New York, and he was bitter about that whole thing. Well, you know how it works. She, she, um, she became the senator, then she became yeah. the secretary of state. I was the mayor of New York. I mean... Yeah. Rudy was the mayor of New York. He's going to be Secretary of State. So it all, it it all co- she, she, he will go as far as Hillary did. So he might even go further. Maybe in four to eight years, he might be president. Yeah. And then you're going to get Sarah Palin as the, sec- the Secretary of the Decoration? Or the- well, she's actually going to, be, uh, she's going to be Secretary of the Eskimos out in Alaska. Well, that's we're these gonna, we're gonna- you're doing with Sarah Palin and Sarah- all these other people you're, you're, you're picking up. I got Sarah Palin at the door right now. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you about Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin is, is a great, great supporter, great, great athletic supporter. She's, <laughs> she, she's going to do a, she's going to do a world of good way out there in Alaska, where, <laughs> where she will get everything done in Alaska. <laughs> and I hope, and I hope if you go to Alaska, you will say hi to her and tell her that I said hi too, because uh, I, I probably won't see her for the next four years. 
<laughs> and then you got this guy from the uh, Area Nation there, uh, Steve uh, Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon. From no, the let Area me tell you Nation. That. What kind of dingbat is he? What no, kind of, he's not what? from the Area Nation. He's from Breitbart.com. He was uh, he was Mr. Big Shot there, and he actually yeah. is from Virginia. He's from Northern Virginia. You know Virginia. how to pick him, don't you? There's well, a dingbat from the Area, Area Nation there. What are you talking about? He, he's a Virginia Tech graduate. That's good. And uh, really, and he... Um, uh, now, now, all my UVA friends are very happy about <laughs> that, but, but nevertheless, uh, uh, this guy, he, uh, he, 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 they hey, say he doesn't hey, like hey, Jews, hey, hey, they hey, say hey. he doesn't like blacks. What I'm telling you is this. Now, what the people want to know is, what the hell are you going to do now when you take in January and you, and you're, when you take oath, the oath and all that? What are you going to do? Yeah. I mean, I mean, they might have to give you an enema too, you know, because you're, because you're, you're Diarrhea is sticking up the whole place there with all this crap you're saying and what you're going to do and what you know about nuking this person and nuking that person. Hell, you say you know you need a good enema. You'll probably be given one when you're given that uh, State of the Union speech. Actually, the what, speech here. what this country needs is an enema. <laughs> said said a friend of mine, friend of mine <laughs> who who was also a guy that uh, that gave me a lot of support in the last election. <laughs> You probably saw him in a movie with that guy. With All right, porn. listen, nobody wants to hear this gibberish. What are you going to do, and what are the goals you're going to do as president? And we don't want to hear about grabbing the girl in the pussy, or grabbing somebody in the pussy. We don't want to hear about uh, being something being huge, or we don't want to hear about you attacking Rosie O'Donnell, because Rosie O'Donnell also wants a piece of you, too. I hope you know that. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell wants a piece of you. Well, but we uh, want to know. What the hell are you going to do when you become president? The worst, the worst thing that could happen is about that. I'm not really all that scared about Rosie, Rosie Donald, but if, uh, the worst I'm, the thing I'm most afraid of Rosie Donald is if she sits on me. Yes, well, that's <laughs> enough right there. <laughs> but other than that, I'm not really worried yeah, a whole lot about that. She sits on you and she, put, she hog ties you up, and if she lets it rip, Oh my well, goodness! Because when she lets it rip, oh, your, your head will explode. Yeah, well, that is that is probably the worst thing I'll probably have to encounter if I ever see that fat, ugly face on Rosie O'Donnell ever again. Uh, also, uh, what I'm going to do? And what's oh, the, let me tell you. I, I, well, no, I, I want to know what, what's the thing with Megyn Kelly now. You, you, you Megyn Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, Megyn what's the thing Kelly with her? Megyn Kelly is uh, is a pretty girl. She's um, you want to grab her? Have a brain in her head, but she's a pretty girl. You want to grab her? In the pussy. And that's all. Grab her by the pussy. Let me tell you something. That's going to be, forget about, uh, that's going to be the new uh, slogan. Uh, of, uh, uh, we're going to put that on the money. And God we trust, forget about it. We're going to put grab her by the pussy. Listen here. <laughs> You're a living. fraud. You're a fraud and you don't deserve to be the title. We know that Hillary Clinton should be president. Everybody knows that. Even you know that. Hillary Clinton should be president. Now, what you got to say to the Hillary supporters out there? Well, uh, uh, better luck next time. If, if you think, let me tell you something about Hillary. Hillary couldn't make it against Barack Obama. She hardly made it against uh, uh, Bernie Sanders. And she didn't beat me. So, uh, so Hillary Clinton, if I were you, I would look into Hillary Clinton to see if, Hillary, if, if maybe Hillary Clinton is the horse you want to ride in on I tell in this, you in this race. Here. She won the popular vote, Dingback. She, she, she won the popular vote there, Dingback. Well, that, that will bully for her. Yes. Well, the popular vote. Okay, so that's what she did. So we all know that. Put Hillary's that, a friend of mine. Put that mine. camera on both of us there. Uh, back. There you go. Hillary's a friend oh, of mine. Mm, I like that watermelon. It tastes delicious. And I like. And you know, when, when you when you grab those that pubic hair, oh my yeah. God, mm, it tastes delicious. I love it too. <laughs> Would you like the pubic hair there, Donald? <laughs> uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I've, I've had so much. I, I've I've had so many girlfriends. I have a pubic hair mustache half the time. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> I like to dip, you know. I like the red man. You like the red man? I like to um, dip. I see a bunch of guys at my uh, at, at my uh, stud farm uh, with the dip, but no, I'm more. I don't. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I've never done any of that stuff. I'm. Uh, I eat at McDonald's and, and Kentucky Fried just like you. And so oh, I. Wow. So you know I, I'm a lot in so common that, with the so regular hey, people. Hey, so did you eat your beets or do you beat your beets? <laughs> <laughs> do you eat your meat, beat, or do you beat your meat? Beat, do I beat? <laughs> I, I, I don't eat beets. Uh, oh, right. I, uh, my blood is purple enough. Yeah. <laughs> and when was the last time you had a full-fledged enema? Uh, I don't know, but I know that next week at, uh, at uh, Thanksgiving dinner, I'm going to have some, uh, some turkey and dressing and that uh, three-bean 
three bean uh, castor castor oil, castor oil casserole. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So let's talk this. Day. Let's tell us what you're going to do now. Oh, yeah, exactly. What are you going to do? It over and over again. I've been telling you what I'm going to do. Well, the one thing we're going to bomb. We're going to go to ISIS. We're going to bomb them. We're going to. They're going to. They're going to win. They're, and then they're. And then they're going to pay for the bombs after we bomb them. It was, I mean, it's it's that simple. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So what are you going to do? What, what what are so what is you your your new relationship with Putin? Now, do you and Putin have anal sex or what? Uh, you know, that's a conspiracy theory. Let me tell you something. If, if, if anyone is the is the is the uh, top dog, it's me. So, yeah. uh, no, so but, but, but Putin's a cool guy. You know what they're saying? Putin wants to play with you because he knows you're a weak, sacrificial lamb. And once he could, you know, he didn't want to be, he was worried about Hillary. He was worried about Hillary and Barack. But he knew he could play with you because you were a sacrificial lamb. Because uh, then he'll take the proverbial knife and stab you in the, in the back with that proverbial knife. Because he knew you were, he knew you were like, kind of like not playing with a full deck there. I think what when, do you think about that? I think when Hillary and, and Barack didn't lift a finger when I uh, moved into Crimea, it kind of tells you how afraid Putin was of them. Yeah. But he's, gonna, he's not going to do any of that nonsense. Well, when Putin plays the violin, you play the, you play the, uh, the chords too, don't you? You play the chords together. He plays the violin, you play the uh, trumpet. The tr I play the you trumpet. Play the was trumpet, named after don't me, you? don't you? <laughs> Even though the trumpet was invented uh, hundreds of years ago, it was named after me because I because I said so. Uh -huh. <laughs> and and be a whole new so now there. let's tell the people what it is. You were for the Iraq War. Now you know you were. Well, a lot of people were for the Iraq War. Yeah. Well, fact, you keep changing your tune there, bozo. So it, were you for the Iraq War or not? You said on Howard Stern that you were for the Iraq War. It, and then you said during the debate that you weren't. So which is it? I was in favor of the Iraq War until I wasn't. A, a lot of people were in favor of the Iraq War. And then, ah, and then when we were losing it, so then we were against it. You go like both sides of the, of the pendulum, don't you? Well, you want, you want to be like George W. Bush and always be in favor of the Iraq War, whether, whether it's good or bad? <laughs> Why are you taking these teabaggers and you're embracing these teabaggers? Why are you doing that? Well, those teabaggers, those lunatic fringe, those manure minds, those know-nothings, they got me elected. I got to... I, <laughs> I got I got a candidate. That was all bitter. They were all bitter, but they didn't know what to do. They well, were stroking off to Ted Cruz, and then they start stroking off to you. Let me tell they you. They loved Ted Cruz, and then when he went bye bye, they had to stroke their ding dongs to you. Let me tell you about Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz went at the co convention, told no one to vote for me. They voted for me. They also, I told everybody that Ted Cruz's father uh, killed JFK, and and nobody believed it. And, it's, I don't know if it's true or not. They say it's true, but let me tell you something. I just he still voted for hey, me. Hey, I just burped and I thought about you when I was doing it. <laughs> I just actually took, had a little rip in my pants right now, and I was thinking about you too when I did that. <laughs> yes. Next time, next time you, yeah, next time you take Viagra, think of me too. <laughs> hey, you know, you haven't read my memoirs, have you? You haven't read my book about standing tall. You said keep it stronger, or whatever your slogan. My slogan is, stand tall. Stand tall right in your britches. I don't do Viagra. I don't do Cialis or love it or leave it or whatever the hell you want to call it. When that soldier stands up, it salutes. And it salutes high. And it says, here I am, ladies. I don't take that stuff. I don't take love it, leave it, or Cialis or Viagra. Now, you probably do. But I'm some. I'm older than you, and I'm still standing tall in my britches. Have you seen? Have you seen my wife? Have you seen the girls? I boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. Uh, uh, listen, I'll do anything to keep competitive. I don't see. I don't see a lot of pretty girls on your uh, around you. Hey, <laughs> listen here. I have. I can get it going now. Henry can get pretty damn funky. You know what I'm saying? I can do the squat, the squat chop, or I can do the. I can do the uh, moonwalk. I can, I can bust, a, bust a move, and I can bust a nut. I'm pretty agile for an old white man. You see? My head right here is like a mirror. You can see your fortune right here on my head there, Donald. I think, I think uh, that, that, that uh, head of yours uh, should, cover a, uh, should be covered by a foil hat. Hey, let me tell you <laughs> something. Hey, I'm a bald man, but I'm also a virile man. Now, you, you have a yellow hair. You got piss hair. 
Someone took their ding dong and they pissed in your hair. And your hair goes like this and like that. You ought to use Viva Sassoon. Viva Sassoon makes your hair, you know, makes it grow. And makes it, you know, natural. Not like this yellow urine style you've got on your top of your, on your head. This is, uh, you don't like the Dennis the Menace look? I, uh, I use the original Dennis the Menace and I've kept the same hairstyle because it worked for me all these years. Let me tell you about my hair. Somebody actually said it looks like cotton candy made from piss. You know what? <laughs> I guess they were correct with that <laughs> assumption. Let me tell you something. You haven't read my books. You don't know what I'm about. I have wrote books and been poetry. I do poetry. I write books about, you know, how to get it going on. So maybe you should put me in your cabinet. And you put old Henry in your cabinet, then you might have some things working out for you. Matter of fact, if you put me as Secretary of State, I will take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. And I'll tell these other foreigners to go dig for their own fecal matter. I'll put you in my liquor cabinet. <laughs> That's where you belong. Well, you're a fickle man. <laughs> yeah? so, let, me, let me ask you now, what does Melania do in the bedroom? Is she pretty good? Now, obviously, she's a whole lot younger than you. Uh, yeah. Does, is there a lot of foreplay with you and Melania? Yeah. I, uh, uh, not really. <laughs> I just come and I'm, uh, and I'm ready. Uh, when you get to be my age and, my, and rich as I am, you know, no more foreplay. Yeah? Oh, here she comes. Come on over. Look who's here. It's Melania. Oh, is this Melania? Huh? Yeah, Melania. You have uh, something to say? To this blowhard here. Well, now, once, once again, we you're on my right show. Here. Come on down. You have to get down. Yeah, get down. Get down on all these here. <laughs> get down on your... When we break bread together, Melania, we're on our knees. This is your new first lady. We get down on our knees. This is your new first lady. Well, Melania, how you doing? I don't care what you say about me. But Why you know did you marry me? this nincompoot? <laughs> Look at my Facebook pictures. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, he goes he goes around... No, seriously, look at my Facebook pictures. <laughs> look at your what? Facebook pictures. Oh. She's from, she's from Slovenia. Yes, well, you have a nice spread there, don't you? I haven't... Are you in Penthouse and uh, right. Playboy, too? Hope so. I don't even remember, but there were like five different magazines, and one of them involved a giraffe. Oh, oh, oh right. Yeah. Yes, okay. That was the Barack Obama this way? edition with the... Get your mic out there, boy. We need to hear, need to hear you better. Obama Put your mic on there. My mic? My, I can't turn my mic on. Wait, this is not my mic. Her mic. We got her mic on there. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah. yeah just talk there. Talk, Somebody said talk that free. I'm making a complete fool of myself talking about irrelevant information that doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. But hey, why did you marry this dim man? We know he has a lot of money, but why did you marry him? He's a dimpo. He's a nip -ka -poop. I'm a bimbo, but I don't care. It's fun. Yeah? yeah? Did you think he had a chance in Snowball's chance in hell to win the erection and the election? Quite frankly, I don't give up. You don't give it? Well, me, I get it. I was in World War I and World War II and in Korea. And I am an old man. I've been through all the wars. I've had it all happen to me. And you can see why, you know, what's happened to me. I was, I, my face was burned. I was a burn victim. But I, I came exactly. through. <laughs> and here I am at 90-some years old, virile as hell. I'm telling you, virile as hell. Virile as hell. Very virile. And I do, I am a self-made man. Hell, I should be running for president. I should be president. You should be. Your yes, face I looks should like be. like a toasted marshmallow. You know, toast your what? Your face looks like a toasted marshmallow. Well, my face has been through the war, and yeah. I am a burn victim, like I just told you. Yeah. But I'm yeah, still pretty right. damn sexy, wouldn't you think? Um, my opinion is is neutral on that. Is it neutral? Listen, okay. It's my wife. Hey, listen, listen here. You know what your husband is doing? He's out here as a fraud. I say he's a fraud. He's out there screwing around on you. Do you keep tabs on him? Uh, he attacks Bill Clinton. About, I don't know. He attacks Bill Clinton. He does the same thing that Clinton does. He has a people. He's going to be my wife no matter what. Yes, he's Playboy I'm, buddies. He messes around with Hugh Hefner. Whether I'm rich or poor, she'll still buy the state. Yeah, well, you're screwing around on, on other women out there with Hugh Hefner. You're out there in the Playboy mansion out there screwing around. Not anymore. Not anymore? No, I'm a good guy. Uh, I bet you. I bet you no, will no, be. Wait a minute. I, I got it all out of my system, and now I'm with this lovely woman. So Yeah. That's uh, I say you're a fraud. You're a fraud, all and right. you know what? You're, angry. you're not going to last these four years. All right. All right. This is Henry Armstrong. I'm walking out of here. We got this, we got this nincompoot. We got this nincompoot in his office. Out, this is my out. show here. We'll be back. This is right. Henry Armstrong telling you. See, see you for the next four this years. This is the Gorgeous Yard Show. We'll be right back with more. Transition. Put blank, blank. Put it on blank, and then I'll.
Put on a transition. Vaccines have been created for it. Years ago, he built a city out of blocks. Today, over 600,000 people live right, and work to there. Woo, baby, what is causing hey. all this? I want to I want to keep the illusion like it is because you know they say why is why don't you are in the same room as Henry? I always miss Henry. Never in the same room as Henry, like you know, like uh, Batman and, and Bruce Wayne. Batman and Bruce Wayne not being in the same room. Clark Kent and Superman. Okay. Well, Gigi and Henry. I want I've always miss Henry when he comes on here, and I just come out, and then he's gone. You won't believe who was here, Henry. I tell you what, <laughs> and Donald Trump. Trump. Where were, where, where were they? I don't know about that. All right, this is the. Gorgeous. Did you steal his clothes? <laughs> Baby, I am styling and profiling, looking as only as I can look, mm. looking GQ and yeah, looking okay. exquisite, exquisite, because okay. I am the Mac Daddy and I am the man that's causing, ladies, this wonderment for all of you. Belinda, you're sitting there strumming your little, you're strumming your pussy. What? And you're saying, Georgie, <laughs> I want you to come over and bake me some cookies. Well, honey, I won't just bake you some cookies. I'll give you a flat line right through that, you know what? Yes. Wow. wow. All right. This is, and, this and, is your own Tinder yes. uh, uh, profile here. And then we got <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer there, you're looking at yourself and saying, oh, Gigi, you get me all so excited. Well, what, what you need to do, I am strumming down there and I'm so hot. Take a bucket of cold water and pour it down there and you'll be fine. And just remember, leave me the key and I'll be there to check on you here after the show's over with. Right on. Woo! Woo! Sounds good. Sounds wonderful. You like that? Okay. Yeah. All right. This is the Gorgeous George Show. Finally. We are what's causing all this and I am the man that's percolating and making it happen. All right. We've got a lot going on here. We talked about some things last week. We talked about the... Um, Election. I'm, and, you know, I, I don't want to keep talking about this. It is, but we have the last show, and of course, we have talked about this throughout the, the whole. The last show? The last show for this no. year. I mean, yeah, for this, this year. year. The season finale. Yes, and then we have, well, we, it's, never, it's never over. It's never the season finale. It's never over. It's never the season finale. It's always never ending. We're on the radio. It keeps, keeps going and going and going like the Energized Bunny. I am like the Energized Bunny. The trolls work all year round. Why can't we? Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. That's what I always say. Vince is in the house, and Danielle's in the house tonight. They'll be in here in a little bit. And we might have a little special guest tonight coming in a little bit. We don't know when, but it might be happening in a little bit. So right. stay tuned for more of that. Um, I'm just going to say a few things now. There are a lot, a lot of protesters a lot of things that are happening right now, a lot of people are angry and they're mad. And uh, that's what it boils down to. And they have every reason to be mad. I don't want to get and talk about this again, but this, this is the, so we might as well. Last show is last show right here. So we might as well just finish it up. Um, I saw recently, and I don't know, I think it was in uh, California, somewhere in California, where you had protesters blocking the street, blocking the highway, and then the man just going overhead and running them over. Some Who's casualties in California. There's people driving on the highway. Oh, yeah. And these protesters were on the highway. Oh, they're on the highway. And they were on the highway protesting, and then the man just kept going and knocking them over. And then it knocked a few of them over, and some casualties have happened already. Mm. Now, Risk protesters have a right to pro well, you have a right to protest. If you're upset, you're angry with the outcome that's happened, you have a right to protest. But you're gonna do it on the highway? You're going, to, you're going to risk your life, risk your life on the highway to do that. I think that's a little, little extreme. Yeah, it is. A little extreme. Um, look. Well, you don't want to here's the situation. put yourself in harm's way. Here's the situation. Yeah. There's a petition out there that I have signed, and over uh, a million people have signed it already, over a million people. I don't know the exact account, I mean, exact amount. It's trying to abolish the electoral college and get the popular vote. They're trying to see whether or not Hillary Clinton can be president by December 19th by signing this petition. Now, in a perfect world, that'd be awesome, but that's not going to happen. But still, 
uh, I think it's uh, change.org. Change or what? What was that? Uh, Move.org. Move.org has got yeah. this petition. I have signed the petition myself, Good and it you. said by December nineteenth, if you got to get enough signatures on there, enough signatures signing on there, December nineteenth, Hillary Clinton will become president. Now, not going to happen, but even with all the signatures in the world, but at least maybe we can get this corrected. Electoral college versus the popular vote. She won the popular vote. There was no mandate. There was no mandate at all. She won low the popular vote. No if ands, or buts. 600,000 votes more, but she won the popular vote. 600,000 more, but she won the popular vote. So it makes you want to see whether or not if there is reason and rhyme to maybe like you know, abolish the Electoral College altogether. Well, I mean, Al Gore got the popular vote uh, in 2000. And then, and then if you go back in history, you got a whole bunch of other people got the popular vote. I think uh, uh, Grover Cleveland lost the popular vote uh, one year. I think uh, Rutherford B. Hayes got. I mean, these are, these are things that uh, every time this happens, they say, oh, well, we got to get rid of the Electoral College. But they don't because it's a, it's a, um, it's a con constitutional amendment will matters, have to get rid of it. It does matter, and we need to And it's not going anywhere. Maybe it will, if you have enough people that understand that unjust and an unjust thing had happened, unjust, unjust thing that happened. In 2000, Al Gore should have been president of the United States. No if ands, or buts about it. Al Gore should have been the president of the United States. And then, you know, he won Florida, and then these hanging chads, and lock boxes, you know, and, and lock boxes. They didn't count the votes. Of course, then W. Bush was the president of the United States. Well, he, George he w, got the George W. Junior was Bush. Like five hundred votes, uh, Gore lost in Florida. That tipped the electoral college vote in favor of George W. Bush, and thus George W. Bush, just like this, well, they this said situation. that Al Gore had won Florida, but they didn't count well, votes. Al Gore had won Florida, but they didn't count those votes. Yeah, but but nevertheless, uh, uh, signing a petition is 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 a is a uh, is a fool's errand. It's never it I never solves it. And I think you've seen if you Mr. Smith goes to Washington too many times. Where if all you have it. enough <laughs> signatures, things can happen. The people vote. People vote. But when you have a protest and you have a out, you have an outcry of people going against the situation and enough people signing something, the popular vote can probably maybe take over. The popular vote could probably take over the Electoral College. The Electoral College, a lot of people think it should go bye-bye. It should be that, abolished. Do you know that 49... Abolished like that. Do you know that 49% of the people in America that could vote didn't vote? Which meant that any of those 49% those of the vote could have gone either way and then we'd be in another... Maybe Hillary would have won uh, the Electoral College that way. Nobody and, in their right freaking mind thought that Trump was going to win. Not even Trump himself. And, and, and let me uh, make it very clear that if these people that are protesting, which is great that they're protesting and everything and they're upset and everything... I wish they were this better organized to get the vote out and vote for Hillary, and they wouldn't be in this mess right yeah. now. But now they're now they're backtracking. The James and trying Comey to investigations was the sole reason that this thing happened because people are too damn stupid and they'll believe in fairy tales and Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. That's what it boils down to. The James Comey investigation after they closed it and then it reopens up again. That's what it was fishy. That that was ridiculous. And I tell you what was also fishy was uh, this was uh, I mean it it, it it came up. We might be looking at Anthony Weiner's <laughs> uh, a lap a laptop. There might be some, and then there was nothing. Then nothing happened. And then and they knew that nothing was happening. But they even but it said was a, Mike Pence, our uh, vice president elect, has even now they've even said that he's been using a private server. So no, you know, there you go. Two wrongs don't make a right. You know, it doesn't. But there you go. So let's investigate our vice president, Mike Pence. Well, they will. And because because he's <laughs> a private <laughs> server also too. You know, they will. With the hypocrisy. I tell you, I, I tell you something. The else. Clintons have always been attacked but not a damn thing has been produced only a blowjob in the oval house in oh. the white house and the oval they office. sound like a bad thing okay <laughs> not a damn thing has been proven against the clintons but a blowjob and you know All what right. so what yeah so what you're right 
you know uh, that that actually, and then actually, I think it's I, I think the FBI is not to be blamed that they, they get some of the blame, but the Julian Assange of WikiLeaks has a real uh, bone to pick with uh, with Hillary, and and he WikiLeaks. helped helped uh, helped uh, uh, you know sink yeah. Hillary. Now that's that's if you believe that the emails had anything to do with people not voting for Hillary or voting for her. I don't know any Hillary voters. All oh, these yeah. uh, these that's, emails, that's, I'm not going to vote for Hillary because of them. I most. People I know vote for Hillary dismiss the emails as nonsense, which People they probably have are. People said, "Let's give him a chance." But it didn't. But it didn't. I don't think. It, I don't think the FBI that I cry. Let's give Trump a chance. Well, you know what the precursor about that is is who he's picking as oh, his well, cabinet that is scary. members. Aryan Nation. Steve Bannon. Are you kidding me? Breitbart. This is Steve yeah. Bannon, a part of the Aryan Nation, and yet he's going to be a part of this cabinet. Rudy Giuliani. Who I, or Giuliani, I like to take my fist and punch him in the damn kisser. He is a prune, a bitter old prune that had a proverbial hard and attack in Hillary. Well, he has a Rudy problem. Giuliani had a bitter, bitter, also, bitter prune who had a thing about attacking Hillary. I like to take that MFR and punch him right in the mouth mm -hmm. because Secretary of State, are you kidding me? That buffoon as Secretary of State, you have got to be kidding me. And then, um, but actually, that uh, those other people I'm not too worried too much about. But but that guy, Steve Bannon, is kind of a scary guy. And I think and Sarah and Palin. Well, Sarah Palin. A lot of people like Sarah Palin. Oh, a lot of people like Rudolph. Sarah Giuliani. Palin, uh, Secretary of the Interior. Yeah, but uh, Interior what? She'll, the best one since James Watt. She'll pave. She'll pave the national parks. Or and then Newt Gingrich. Are Newt? you kidding me? Newt. Newt Gingrich, so the, a, a, a retread. A retread, an old bitter, bitter fossil, and yet that's what we're going to have under the cabinet. So that is the precursor. Yeah. Give him a chance. Let's give him a chance. I don't think so because look what he's doing. Well, look look what he's doing. Look. I'm going to say this. I don't think he's going to last the four years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you can take that for whatever way you want to think. I don't think this man will last four years. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll say, dare we say impeach? Mm -hmm. Or maybe assassinated? I don't think so. They have a pretty... They, he, Impeached? He could be or impeached. assassinated. Well, he might, they, be, assassinated. They keep he might about be assassinated. And the problem is, you have a lot of people mm -hmm. that disapprove right there. of the situation. Avon lady is in the house. Avon lady. Um, Vince, <laughs> tell them we've already, we, are, we already gave, okay? We, gave we already gave there, Vince. Let me tell you, though, I think they keep talking they're going to impeach. You know, if Hillary was elected, uh, like you say, they, would, they, they actually said the, the, the Congress is going to find, is going to start impeaching her right away. Uh, so it, I think, you know, I like to say give him a chance. I like, I'd like to say I wish these people would give her a chance. They didn't, never gave Barack you Obama know, a chance. You damn freaking well if the shoe was on the other foot, as sure as we're here on your little picture tube, he would be crying voter fraud. We know yeah. this beyond a shadow of a doubt because he would be crying voter now, fraud. Hello there. Now you're in a second. So, you know, that's what, that's what it comes down to. We have a special guest here. Yes, we do. Now, 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 this is, um, we have a, for somebody that's going to come in here that has been on two previous shows, and who would have thunked it? Stranger things have happened on two previous shows. Um, she's going to be uh, popping in here, in here in a little bit, and if she wants to pop in, when she's ready to pop in, she can pop in. So this is the situation. Fresh. It's what we got. What we're what yeah. we're dealing with right now. So that guy's a real scary guy. Yeah. Yeah. That that Steve Bannon. I mean, yeah. the other people like uh, the other people. I don't really expect. Ah, uh, here here is here uh, here is a uh, somebody we have. Uh, Vinny back. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Yep. You know. I, uh, <clears throat> oh boy. I heard uh, he was out protesting. I wasn't actually protesting. I was looking at everything that was going on uh -huh. and seeing what was happening. And blah, 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 it's an outcry. There's an outcry of people that are uh, disenfranchised and, and disillusioned about the whole thing. Well, so, you know, that's what it boils down to. It is a democracy. We understand that. And for the people who didn't vote, then it's your own stupid fault for not voting. Yeah. But the outcome was the outcome. But what was really surprising is that Hillary Clinton did win the popular vote. Hey, guys, what time do we have in the back right now? Yes, right. What, what time do we have in the back? 
We need the time right now because we need to make everything. What time work. is it? It is time, time. It is turkey time. 18 minutes left. Okay, well, let's make it seven. All right, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we're going to do this. Uh, our special guest is here. Yay. I'm shocked. Here she is coming in. Yay. Miss Sarah West. Yes. Oh yes. There you go. Who, who would have thought that? I know. You thought yeah, we'd ever you see know. her again. She's in the house. Okay, Sarah, how you doing? And she fixed the election. Uh, she uh, fixed it. What's yes, going on? I rigged it. <laughs> you rigged it. All right, all right. So, Sarah. Yeah, I thought it would be really cool and yeah. controversial to... Uh, Okay. <laughs> to you know, have her actually win, right? You know, yeah. And then have uh, you know Hillary Clinton win, and um, <laughs> and then uh, oh goodness. You okay. Let me fix this. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you're okay. And so you know, we need controversy, right? We need to shake. Right. We need well, we up. already have a lot that's, of controversy that, that's already. That's why I got this guy here. I know, but <laughs> I mean, ooh, this was really. I think this is a big wake-up call. Nobody would have thunk this. Not even Donald himself would have thunk this. Well, actually, um, Michael Moore called it, and The Simpsons called it in 2001. Yeah. Michael oh, Moore? Yeah. That fat stop? What? <laughs> Michael well, Moore? called it uh, in April. I think he called it in a right. long time ago. What? He that fat it. porky pig? Oh, he's a genius. Uh -huh. Right. Well, now, let me... Let me all right. Same person on the planet. Yeah. He's well, I, you know, like I said, I, I, was it Michael... I mean, because I could... I couldn't tell what Michael Moore was doing. Was he actually supporting Trump? Because I thought he was like flipping no. his wig. Actually, he no, said I don't he know. Not. Actually, he vowed to never vote for Hillary, but because of the situation with uh -huh. the Trumpster, he absolutely 100% was supporting Hillary because he doesn't like her um, war um, tendencies or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, because he was like he was down. What's going on? Microphone. Uh, Microphone. Or him? Me? Microphone. Oh, you can't hear me. Okay. Well. Okay. So Microphone. Like, hear me now. Okay. Okay. Everybody can hear okay. me. So, well, speak Kevin, of course up. they can. Yeah, of course they can. I can't speak up louder. Well, yeah, she's, okay. Sore okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Sore throat. Better? Yeah. Yeah, I got Cross it. up. Got All right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, actually, actually, believe it or not, and it's, you know, yeah. things happen. Okay, I, I happened to be like, maybe it was one night I was off, and I was over at the Silver Diner. And I was playing on the computer. I walked in the Silver Diner. I go there quite often. What? And I ran into Sarah at the Silver Diner. Uh -huh. She was over there with her mom at the Silver Diner, and we ran over there, and there she, there she was. So we start talking, and we haven't seen each other for a while. And of course, you know, I mean, Kevin and uh, Sarah are friends in real life, and so you know, we start talking, and we start talking about talking about the election, and then so she said she had some things that you want to talk about with the election. So I said she can, you know, come on. Oh. And she was under the weather, and of course, you're still in the weather tonight, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm over yeah. the weather. Uh, yeah. You're over the yeah. weather? It's over. It's over. Right. I'm right. 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 I'm right. on it. Yeah, who's on the weather? Yeah, who's yeah. on first and what's on second? I'm well, surprised, I can be on third. George. You That's know, obvious. I'm, I'm surprised. Danielle, do you yeah. have anything to, to add to all of this? I was. Okay. I was in the room. I was on the hearing words about the Electoral College, and here's my honest opinion about what can happen to the Electoral College. Toss it out. Down. Down. Down with the Electoral College. It is out of date. It they can't hear Danielle. Hearing. Danielle, okay. Say all that again, Danielle, please. It is okay. Redundant. Uh, you got to, I'm sorry. You, you cannot hear me. Maybe I'm not getting loud enough. No, it, the She's Electoral broadcasting. College can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And yeah. Someone is picking up my chair. Who is that? Okay, no. I want them <laughs> okay. to hear I'm me. I'm levitating. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Isn't it amazing how this whole push, get out and vote, get out yeah. and vote. Get out and vote. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. There are, it does not matter. There are these get out the vote ads that tell especially younger people to vote. And in yeah. the your, end, your vote counts. Their, vote their counts. votes are the, the least plausible, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. It's like. We got some calls now. And okay. you know, the reality is it's the kids are inheriting the earth. So yes. whose voice needs to be heard? Oh and is, is a bigot and a racist and a rapist and a thief they should not be allowed to run for president. Do you know what I'm saying? Hello. People are going to dig up some skeletons in his closet. Oh. They already dug them oh. up and nobody cares. Oh, oh here comes Cowboy I care. Randy. There's more. <laughs> All right, uh, you're on the air with uh, Gorgeous George and Effects. Well, oh, we lost you. I'm sorry. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So anyway, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for his phone call. Yeah. Now um, I am. <laughs> um, yeah. So yes. So, so we. I don't we, need a microphone. We do have that. I just shout. Vince, we do have that, right? Yes, yeah. we have it taken yeah. care of. Yes. All right, because uh, yeah, the paper hat crowd comes out every now and then. So. Uh, what comes out? The paper hat crowd comes out. What right paper hat? Paper hat crowd. Yes. This is this is. They've been replaced <laughs> with the silk with the foil hat crowd. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's Vanna White. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's let's screen that call in the back and ask him their first name, and then we'll get them on. It's not even no need. I guess it's not even. Oh, okay. It's not even no need. There's no need. Okay. All right. Well, I right, bring them on. Bring them on. So. Uh, all right, we're all you're on the Cowboy air. Reggie. Well, Dr. Ruth last time. I had a whole you on the air. Hey, George, uh, it's Chris. Okay, and there you go. All right, so hey, uh, what, what he had to say? I, I guess he, he just, get, just got Easy choked up. He got, oh, okay. he got really choked up. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Crystal meth. Crystal meth, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> These microphones, we, we're better off with the paint, with the cup on the, the string. <laughs> That's right. All right. So anyway, all right. I can't hear anything we're saying. Can't hear anything. It's a silent. It's a silent movie. You're on the air, please. Nigga, 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 nigga. Okay. See now. See now. Okay. Now. To that person that just called up, we've got your number. We got your number. <laughs> in more ways than you want to know. He, he wasn't long. Yeah, see, long see, he. I think he was talking to you, George. Yeah. <laughs> he was talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So then. So he must now. Be a so now. So we were. T sorry, we were talking about his cabinet. Yeah. Oh man. We're talking about his cabinet. Everybody's saying give him a chance. Give him a chance. But Why the. Give him a chance. He's broken they're, already. They're saying give him a chance, but look at his cabinet. Bunch of idiots. Yeah. What do you call them? What type of cabinet does he have? Uh, wood? I call it, you know, silver tread. Bunch of, <laughs> bunch of, of yeah, yeah. Tread. <laughs> tread. That's yes. right. Danielle, here. Carry out. Say that again. Okay. okay. No one I mean, can hear me. Okay. Seriously, she's got a little mic. She okay. has a little mic. All right, all right, say it again. It's not. It's, <laughs> it's not picking up. It's not picking up. Is this picking up? What's None of them are working. There you go. Okay. Are well, they see the technology, and they, they, they say what, technology is great. The start? The they together? say technology <laughs> is great, but I guess what? Hello? I guess it's not. Hello. All right. So anyway, so like I said, so people are saying this, and I'm just saying okay. But then what else more is going to come about? When he becomes president, when he becomes president, let's see what else happens. And I'm going to tell you what. I mean, Mike Pence is even even more scarier. I mean, He's really scary. Mike Pence is very even more scary. So and the you know hilarious what? thing is, is they are so the system. I mean, these people that think that they're voting like outsider. Yeah. Frumster's no outsider. First of all, Frumster is a chameleon, and he will shapeshift to into anything that right. serves his his egoic supply. He, I mean, he has changed platform so many times more than Emil De Marcos changes to shoes. <laughs> all right. And wow. boom, boom, that was for good you comparison. Guys. Good and, comparison. And so flip flops. Flip -flops. The scary thing is, is all of us are made of what? What are we? Thank you very much. Ashes to ashes, Hello. dust to dust. Water yeah. mineral. So yeah. what is the most important thing? If if we have no earth, right. he has he's got investments in the pipeline that is going to destroy the water in the in the Dakotas, right going right through the Native American reservation. We've already killed most of them when the British and the Spanish came here. And then we sequestered them and, and poisoned them with uh, uh, the, the scarlet fever and 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 all the Small diseases pox. smallpox Small thank you right. smallpox like basic and right. then alcoholism right. their bodies sad. can't do alcohol and neither can anybody else's right. and then now we want to poison the the little water that we have left everything's been stolen the water has been literally stolen and florida is collapsing right. because the aquifers are empty and uh california, new mexico too. california has no water so we've stolen everything we are insane. Right. This insatiable insanity for security and supply to the the egoic human uh, just disease. The disease right. of I want more. I want more. I want more. To all you people who play video games, <laughs> these people remind me of Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. He yeah. wants to corrode and yeah. choke the planet, taking yeah. all life out of it, right. using it as his vessel sailing across the universe. Right. Yes. 
Yes. Well, then you see. It reminds me of gold member from the. The gold member. Yes. Yeah, the gold member. <laughs> and now, Sarah, you told me that you met the Clintons. I, I, I met Bill, yeah. You met Bill. I met Bill. And how was oh, it? Oh, you met yeah. Bill. You met Bill. Oh. All right. No, it was amazing. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I bet it was. Ah ha ha! Yeah, it was in. It was at a. I yeah. think it was like a TPP meeting actually uh, in Seattle. It was right. a um, global, you know, business blah blah blah. And you, had, you, you actually spoke. You, you, I, it was at a talk he was giving. You spoke to Bill, and it was he was electrifying. Oh, well, he was Bill. extraordinary. He was like he a was superstar. Great. There's no, there's nobody I like mean, him. I mean, you could be in the back of the room, and your your hair stood up on end because he had. It wasn't charisma. It was a spirit. It was a, a spiritual there's, presence. There's nobody like him. He is literally. Uh, he's gifted. Right. You know, he's Actually, really a gifted we, being. We need someone in power who acts powerful yet is supportive to the rest of the nation. Well, you know someone what? who is like, like a nurturer. nurturer. Someone who sets the example that it is indeed powerful Vince? to be generous, well. supportive, open-minded, accountable. Um, someone who has a, a resonance. It's, Vince, it's you not, told me. It's not artificial. It's authentic. Right. You can feel it rumble through the floor. Yeah. You know, it, it's like... An earthquake of positivity. We need that. We're due for it. We deserve it. Now, Vince, you told me that, said that, that said some said of the it, girl. you said thank that some you. of the people were voting for me on this election. Yeah. Now, what, what, uh, yes. What's about wasted it? vote? Yeah, thank you. Hillary would have won if they didn't waste their vote on. Game I don't know. They should have voted for me. So. <laughs> Down with the electoral I said college. I wasn't going to put myself in there until 2024. Well, that's true, but yeah. they voted for you anyway, and now look what happened. It is your fault. Oh, yeah, right. right. All I'm your blame. fault. I'm part of the blame. We have you to blame the Gary Johnson. That's right. I'm, I'm part that's of the blame. Right. I was thinking of running. Matter of fact, I'm going to start the impeachment process of George right now okay. because it's all his fault. <laughs> yeah, peach. Wow. Well, wait, Everybody throws the peach. I'm gonna throw the peach right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> George, this is another fine kettle of fish you've gotten us into. Yes, yes. Well, you know, I, I tell you what. When I swing, I swing straight. You know, that's all I, that's all I can say. All right. So, uh, what we got going on there? What does that mean? We got five minutes. Fine kettle. Five no, minutes on the count. The scary thing is, is the people that are being, you know, Pence is just a freaking. Nazi man, do you know? Do you know the Koch, pants, the Koch pants. brothers who run this country and the oil in this country and the fossil fuels in this country? They they give money to all the politicians to sway them. Uh, Trump to uh, Pence to Ryan to all these people. Uh, the Koch brothers' father sold oil and to the Nazis and to Stalin, Hitler and Stalin. Hello. That's our legacy that all those people who were like, oh, I want to drain the swamp, honey. You didn't know draining no swamp. <laughs> They're like getting bigger in the swamp. Right. They're like adding to the swamp. They are the swamp. You just voted for the freaking swamp. Oil. Hello? oil is the devil's excrement. Always remember that. More co trouble has been caused by yeah. oil than anything. And let me tell you something. If you think the prices of oil are going to stay low like they have been the last couple of years, oh, you think... You think these tax cuts or anything is going to bring the price down even lower? Oh, the, the, you're dreaming, pal. We, uh, it's going to go back up to George W. Bush uh, uh, prices. We, we, <laughs> George w. Bush listen, listen. When we have a Republican in office, all hell breaks loose, and we have, you know, yes. W. It's Bush. The worst for everybody. W. Bush doesn't deserve my name. First of all, I don't call him by that name. W. Bush doesn't deserve my name. But when a Republican is in office, like Richard Nixon. Uh, yeah, and uh, you say more like that when you got you know people like that, mm -hmm. and then you, Reagan. I, you know I respect Reagan, but that's probably the only one. But then, <laughs> but then you got the Bushes, and then you know need, need you say more. You know. Need you say more? It's always some kind of problem, it's some kind of question, and then you know what? And things happen, and we get in a recession, and then um, we you know we do this, and then we are right back where we started from, and yes. then Barack Obama had to go ahead and. It took him eight years to get us back. everything. Barack Obama took him eight years to get, get us back. But once again, when you start pointing the finger, it was under a Democrat watch that we got the biggest terrorist of them all, wow. Bin Laden. Yes. Under a Democrat's watch. And I tell you what, yes. who would have thunk that? But it's the truth. With with a woman in charge of the... Secretary of State, State Hillary State. Rodham Clinton. Thank you, Hillary. Hillary Thank Rodham you, Clinton. Obama. Three minutes on the ticker. Uh, any, okay. any more calls? I am very much yeah. glad any, that any more calls? I have something to say. Say oh. it. 
fair. Yeah. So my main concern is history repeating itself. You know, it's like every decade has its major crises and its social movements and issues to deal with, but it's, it seems like every time there's a presidential election, some of the same stuff is repeated over and over again, like environmental issues. And we've been talking Number about one. big oil, and I'm thinking <sighs> we have only one planet to live on, and if all this oil drilling results in diplomatic problems overseas or artificially generated seismic activity... Which has already been happening. Permanent water poisoning. Already been happening. Oil spills. I don't even need to go into detail about that. Just more of them. Do you really want more and more of this happening over and over again? People aren't even thinking of that. They're only thinking of, like, that Trump's going to save their job in Kentucky and Iowa and Chicago from... Their big, big business manufacturing going to Mexico. Aye. They've already gone to Mexico. Kumbaya, my lord. <laughs> Kumbaya. I'm going to say one more <laughs> thing. I understand why he's trying to save the coal, oh, coal mining industry. Hey, if you have I, a coal miner these yeah. days. I, yeah. I have one more thing to say. I have one more thing to say. That coal oh. miner's daughter. Yeah, I'll tell you that. We, yeah. we need <laughs> to reinvest in drastically different energy sources. Clean we, energy. Yes, we need 100%. to reindustrialize for that reason. Because if, if enough well, people realize how minute. viable it is... Clean jobs. People yes, will want to do it. It right provides now. jobs. Healthy yeah. jobs where you're right. not dying of cancer. We wish we could have yeah. longer time, but I have radio shows coming up too in December on WCLM radios. So we'll have some radio sh- uh, shows coming up. Hey, this has been the 22nd year of the Gorgeous George Show. Not by a side happenstance, it is real. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am what's causing all this. Yeah. I am the man. The great the Danielle. Danielle. I'm Danielle. coming back Sarah Sarah next season. One more Lisa. One minute yeah. Tower of Pisa. Yeah. And only one. Check out my website, sarahwest.com, if you want. All right. Aloha till 2017. Yeah. And we'll be right Aloha. back. Aloha. We'll be right back around the corner. Give somebody a hug. All Give right. somebody a hug. Okay. <laughs> Diamonds are forever, and so is Gigi. Woo! No opinions. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness! Find a reason to laugh. All right. Wait a minute, no, wait seriously, wait. find a reason. Who produced this show? <laughs> finally, finally. Well, not, okay. Wait a minute. Who directed this show? All right. Oh my.